Hey folks, well, welcome to another new Black Friday. You gotta meet the wonderful V Roberts. She is a branding, marketing, social media expert. Yay! Say hey V. Hi, how you doing? Well, first of all, I've seen you all over Facebook and everything, and I see you do so much work, so proud of the work that you do, because I actually feel comfortable, hence what made me come today. Thank you. Um, and, you and you know, your, your charges are quite good, because we always think that people are going to charge us, you know, thousands of pounds to come and we get scared, and so that's why I never called before neither, <laughs> but I'm glad to know that you are, you know, you, you can be in budget, and I love it. I mean, somebody can be on gyro and come, which is what I love, <laughs> so it's just excellent. So tell us a bit about your business, and when you started, to, just chat, V, chat. All right, cool. So basically, um, first of all, thank you for having me on your video today. Um, I am... Um, V Roberts, InsightToMarketing.com, but I'm also known for my events, Inspire Your Biz, which is what you came to today, and I thank you for showing up here. Um, my background is branding, marketing, and also social media. Um, I come from a business background, used to do employee work as a consultant, um, also working on contracts, but as an employee for 15 years, I worked wow. in the industry managing some really big campaigns globally and internationally, and then I was made redundant, and I went on to go and work for some agencies uh, for some really nice money. Uh, but now I'm where I want to be. I'm working right. with community, I'm working with SMEs, and also solopreneurs who really need help when it comes to branding and promoting their business. So yeah, that's what I do. I've been doing it for the last four plus years. Um, and managed to start my own business with less than a hundred pounds. So I actually wow. educate people on how they can successfully target their audience with next to little budget, you know, and that's what I'm about basically, helping people to promote themselves. So when we're on these social media sites like Facebook and Instagram, and if we are, you know, cause some of us like, like for me, I'm a comedian for example, mm -hmm. um, and maybe I'm just doing it to have a laugh. I mean, is there business out how do you get to be the business side? Like, like for example, you've got boost pages on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, should you do the boost page? Is it worth it? Is it not? I think you need to first of all understand the platforms that you're on in business. So if you're on Facebook and you're not getting any traction, nobody's interacting with your page, maybe you're not even sharing content on your page, you're not posting updates. If you have a business, definitely set up a Facebook business page. A lot of us are using our personal profiles for business, and unfortunately there's disadvantages with doing that. One of the things is that it's against Facebook policy to be posting lots right. of business content on your right. personal profile. Right. But the most important thing for me is that actually as a business, you wanna be able to see the data. Right. So if you're on a personal profile and you're posting your cakes, you know, your hair products, you know, your, your shop, uh, your online clothing line, actually you're doing yourself a disservice because on a business profile you can get to share exactly that but to a wider audience as building your brand at the same time but also being able to look at analytics. Well so, on Facebook? Yeah. So you can go in as a business one instead of just a regular, I don't know, regular person I would say. Yeah, so you can do oh. a Facebook business page and that page might be a company page, it might be a, p a page for your product or service, it could even actually position you as just a local business. So right. people will check in, for example, when they come to your office for a consultation, right. as an example, or when they come to buy products from your market store, they can check in. So you need to first of all understand why you're using Facebook. Before right. you even consider boosting anything, right. consider why you're using Facebook. Understand what your objective is. Do you want to reach more customers? Do you want to just build brand awareness? Or do you actually want to sell things? Because right. ultimately, you know, you might want to make some money from Facebook. Right. When you've worked that out, that's then where you look at the tactics you're going to use. And it's not necessarily going to be that you're going to be boosting a post, but you may just look at getting a steady and consistent rhythm with posting. Okay. So, is that the same for Instagram and or those other, me I mean, what's the value of Snapchat, for example? Is there any value to Snapchat, per se, in businesses? There's a value in every single social media platform, whether you're using uh, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, there's value in all of them. But the critical thing is how much time have you got to be on those platforms? And more importantly, right. are your customers even there? Because arguably, Snapchat is for a more younger audience. Mm. And if, for example, your product or service is more tailored to, let's say you do stair lifts or you do, right. you know, something for the more right. senior citizen, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily true that you're going to find those people on Snapchat. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying this to be an ageist or anything, I'm no. just being real. So think about your target audience. Are they where you're currently sharing your social media? Because if they're not, then you need to be where they are. Okay. You know, if you're on Facebook and you've got a particular type of audience that you want to connect with, make sure that they are the people that you're connecting with. 
the times you're sharing, the type of content you're sharing, and the value that you're offering every time you do a post. And Facebook <coughs> Insights will help you to make informed decisions about that. And that's where the data part of it comes in. I think once you've mastered all that, you know, understanding your objectives, getting on the right platforms, then you need to look at the data, and that's when you can make a decision on when to boost or advertise on social media. Okay, so all you said was great. I'm like, uh? So, <laughs> you know, you do workshops, which is hence how I was here today. So mm -hmm. you do workshops that breaks down all things like that. Am I correct? Yes, yeah. I do workshops on social media. So get going on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Right. I also do a separate LinkedIn workshop as well. Um, and... You know, I get am amazing feedback from my workshops, much of which can be seen on my Insights yes, Marketing definitely. Facebook page. Um, but for me, a workshop isn't about teacher pupil. It's more about engaging and making sure people understand the content, do hands-on things in the room to actually work on their social media profile pages, um, and also get results. Mm. So any workshop that I do is always interactive, it's always two-way engagement, and it's always tailored to the people that are in the room. So, you know, yeah, I do workshops on a number of different things, but some of the things that I do workshops on is social media. Okay, and one of the questions that I think, I don't know if anybody else, but for me, it's always been, how do I, like, I don't have time to do it all, and sometimes my head to get around, because these youngsters seem to know everything, and I can't get my head around everything, and I don't have the time. Are you the kind, are you, would it be you that I would come to, for example, that I need you for half a day or a day to kind of go, look, I need this done, that done, blah, blah, blah. How do I build this? How do I get more people? How do I do this? Yeah. Can you be hired like that? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I would say I, I always look at offering best value to people. So one of the things I do is a consultation, a 10 minute chat. But believe sure. me, in that 10 minutes, you'll get a lot from that. From that initial conversation, it's free of charge, I will then work out maybe what the best option is for you in terms of next steps, in terms of your social media, or even your marketing or your branding. Okay. When it comes to social media, there are a number of different things you can do in terms of my company. Okay. Um, we offer training and workshops, mm -hmm. I offer consultations, so yes, you can do a half day, or you could even do a full day. Right. Um, but I also do social media management, so I work with a small team where we manage a number of different profiles, uh, and we have different packages that we offer as well. So if you're stuck for time, maybe you're not comfortable with, with right. outsourcing just yet, maybe you're still trying to work on Hootsuite, maybe you need some training right. on scheduling, mm -hmm. you know, how to schedule for yourself. Maybe you don't want to hire anyone. Right. You can have a conversation with me, and you know a member of my team or myself can help you in actually growing your profile online, connecting with the right people as well, but more importantly, getting the sales in that you need to grow right. your business. Excellent, excellent. And your next event is when? I've got a number of events coming up. I'm actually flying out to India very soon. Yes, so I heard. Um, Good done. Yeah, thank you. Um, but in terms of my courses, I do courses monthly. So people can check that out on Eventbrite. If you simply search Inspire Your Biz, you'll find you details that. there. So, so Inspire, inspire your, biz. your Biz. I'll um, show you that, folks. And also on my Insight to Marketing page, people can actually See. check out on Insight to Marketing Facebook. Um, which is this side. I'm going to show you, you can, this. Uh, thank you. See, she's all sorted, you know. She's got it together, folks. That's <laughs> what we need to do. She's got it together. See? She's so on Google+. Plus. That. You can search that. Hashtag is AskI2M. You, you guys can connect with me um, and find out more about what I do and what we do as a company. Excellent. Before you go, this hashtag thing's really got me. Can you just explain shortly what hashtag thing does, really? So hashtags are brilliant if you want to build an online community. So maybe you've got a shared interest. Maybe you're going to jump onto a trend that's happening. For example, Black Friday, right. dare I say it, or Valentine's Day or Easter. You know, right. Whatever hashtag is trending, you can actually jump on that. And the hashtag is a way of you connecting with more people. So building a community, but also connecting with more people. And I mentioned earlier in our Instagram, workshop that we had today my hashtag is inspire your biz and I also actively use hashtag ask I2M and oh. by doing that I'm able to promote my brand so for anyone out there who doesn't yet have a hashtag it's absolutely free doesn't cost you anything keep it short and sweet easy to understand and you can use it to start building your brand online honestly I've I'm now searchable on Google just by using hashtag. I don't need to spell out my website Nothing, or right. I just give out my hashtag, ask I2M or inspire your biz. But if you want to know how to use hashtags, I've actually got a guide on that. You guys can email me at hello at insighttomarketing.com. I like that. I'll send hello. that to you. And um, 
You can get information on hashtags from me absolutely free of charge. But the key thing to remember, keep it short and sweet. It doesn't cost you a thing. But make sure that you are connecting with people using either your industry-related hashtags. So for me, that's marketing, branding, and social media. But also, I would use hashtags like startups, entrepreneurs, women in business, business tips, marketing coach, and so on. So think Excellent. about your industry. What are you good at? Who are you trying to connect with? What are your products and services aligned to? Because that, including that right. in your hashtag, you know, you can do up to 30 on Instagram. You could do maybe three to four on Facebook or more if you want without right. looking too much. Right. And on Twitter as well, you know, two or three. So hashtags Excellent. are a great way to build your brand and also get an online community around you. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Fee. No problem. It's great to be you. Thank you for your class. It's excellent. People, look at her boots. That's all I've got to say. Look at oh, her boots. Her don't. boots are off the hook. <laughs> I told you. Peace out, folks. See you later.